All right, this is going to be my first attempt at a project on the Moray. This is VCAR Pro 10.509. There's a newer version than that, but I haven't upgraded yet. If you look over here, my width is 16, my height is 8, and the thickness is 0.75. And I'm going to go off the center. So I select OK. Now what we're going to do is import a bitmap. If you come up here, you can see where it says import bitmap. See it? Under file operations. So I click on that, and then I go looking for my file. It's right here on my video F, and it's Finch Shadows. What I did for, for my first project is I took a picture last night of me and my wife standing with our grandbaby, and there was a street light behind us, and we happened to be walking by a fence, and I said, wow. That's pretty cool. Well, let's try that for my first project for a moray. So there it is. Now what do I do? Well, there's a new tool over here that came with 10.5. And it's called right in here. See it? Photo VCAR. So I click on it. I move my spacings kind of close together. And I say calculate. Let's see what we've got. Preview visible tool path. There you go. I'm going to make that color dark. And that's what I'm shooting for. You see the little stars in there? I hope it turns out that way, but I don't think it will. Uh, <clears throat> that's my first project. So all I do now can't be that easy, right? <laughs> wrong you close this you click on this you say save it's visible tool pass to one file and that's the one we're going to do the more a laser we're going to save it and we're going to put it back on here on this drive and we're going to call it um fence shadow And we're also going to tell it the length, and I think that was 16 by 8, and it was centered. So we'll center it in the more and hit run and see how that goes. All right, this is how it turned out. If you look at it, you can see there's a raster pattern, and it basically did that. It moved the way the V-carve would move and it's a raster and I said well maybe it's not dense enough so what I did is I re did the spacing down to 0.15 and started again and you can see it's really just burning straight lines so that's what happened so the next video I'll show you how to do it uh, correctly so it actually burns it to look like something in fact right here is what it looks like it is it turns out pretty good after some modifications in the software it turns out the tool I used is used for V-carve only, not for laser carving or laser cutting. So it's uh, something to learn. So you learn from your mistakes, and I learned from this mistake and learned how to fix it. I'll show you how to fix it in the next video. Thanks for watching.